I belong to the YMCA and in the Traverse City Central YMCA, they've got a pretty nice sauna. And so um, there's a couple guys that I run into in there pretty consistently. Um, and one of them, um, what we were talking about water and he would, we would, he was asking me what I do and I was talking about you know my music career but also that I do work in the water sector because it related immediately to the conversation we were having and he started asking questions about you know what I do and what's going on there was another guy there that was talking about PFAS and fracking and and I had just been at the one water summit so I just unloaded a ton of information on these guys and the the first guy was like wow you're not a nut job environmentalist at all you're very well spoken and well educated and it was just like thank you you know it was sort of like wow that you know it's so interesting that people have preconceptions but that they also like you know some of our biases um not only get in the way of us connecting with other people but also like they sort of hide the fact that we're not that different we're not that far apart you know what i mean so like this guy cared a lot about clean water you know and some of the and i talked about narratives in the last episode and the narrative change group and he's just sort of prescribing to a slightly different narrative than i am in terms of what an environmentalist is what like a you know the general idea of someone who might identify as an environmentalist. But he cares a lot about the environment and obviously recognizes how important it is to protect the water. And we we had great conversations, struck up a friendship I've seen him many times since then. He asked me what what's new? What's new in the world of water, you know?